the Kremlin. It looks like a mosque. And it is the remnants of a mosque. And that mosque was a Tatar mosque. Because the Tatars of the Golden Horde, they ruled the Volga River for 300 years. And Ivan the Terrible, who establishes the Russian Empire, destroys them. And in fact, he forces them to become Christians. And he destroys their Jawami, their Jamia mosques. But this one was from Kazan. I visited Kazan. And uh, he said that this one we won't destroy. We will take it apart. And we will move it by ox cart to Moscow. And then I will ask Tatar architects, not Russians, Tatars, to build me a basilica from these tiles and bricks. So here you get uh, the only example that we have of a Tatar jamia. We know what their little mosques look like. These brilliant Tatars are able to capture what I would like to call the Russian soul. That they make something that is so beautiful in Russian eyes and in the Russian hearts that Ivan the Terrible, who's destroyed everything, says, this one I can't destroy. This one's got to be mine. So it becomes the logo of Russia. Isn't that amazing? I will take just a minute, if you'll allow me. I went to Kazan, and uh, I met a young imam there, Tatar. We spoke in Arabic. And um, I said to him, is it true that St. Basil's in the Kremlin is made from the remnants of your Jamia mosque on this spot in the Kazan. And he said, we don't like to talk about that. And I said, uh, why don't you like to talk about it? And he said, we want the Russian soul. We don't want our bricks and our tiles. And I said, you just taught me one of the biggest lessons of my life. Because we don't want revenge. We're not going to cry about the mosque. It was just rocks and stone.